Hello. Bet you didn't think you were going to see me again anytime soon. But think again, because today I'm going to be giving not a lesson, but a technical demonstration of a new tool that I've been developing, and I'm really quite excited about it, actually. So I've, I've uploaded this tool into the Dropbox. You can find it pretty much in the design folder under Excel Macro Toolsets, and it's called Proto Bridge. So if you'd like to use the tool, please, please do copy it to your home directory. Uh, here I have my own copy on my computer, so I'm going to be using this one. Uh, but really quickly, I'm just going to show you some of the features of Proto Bridge. Now, what does Proto Bridge do? Essentially, Proto Bridge is a means of really rapidly prototyping designs. Uh, now, the key thing here and the specialization of Proto Bridge is just model generation. So, you know, you start with your AutoCAD model, and if you recall all those lessons that we trudged through, uh, so many attempts to just, you know, convert your AutoCAD model into a .dxs format and then import .dxf layers into your SAP model, and then you, once you did that, then you had to, you know, assign the frame sections and assign the restraints, uh, and then assign loads and all that nastiness. It takes quite a little while if you're creating a new model. And it's very much not conducive to uh, really quickly generating a new prototype design. Uh, beyond that, it's also extremely error prone. So there's any number of things that you could mess up on when you're importing things by hand. Uh, it's just a nightmare. So how do we get around that problem? Well, Proto Bridge. That's the whole point. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a particular model that I want to use. And again, this is just a technical demonstration. I'm not going to explain too much, but uh, just to demonstrate what it can do. So I'm going to select which model I want. I can select a .dxf file or a .dwg file. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to import those layers, and I'm only going to import the layers that are visible in my AutoCAD drawing. There's a little bit of a bug, just ignore that. But once we get <laughs> our AutoCAD model, see, we pretty much can automatically open uh, AutoCAD. Uh, it'll import only the layers that are visible in my model. Uh, anything that's grayed out with the light bulb won't be imported. So when I click Import Layers, it'll pretty much run through and slowly but surely import all of my layers from AutoCAD. Now it runs a little bit slower because I have, uh, I guess, uh, my Cam Studio recording device going right now. But pretty much we've gotten all our layers, layer names. Now I can define what direction I want to transform my coordinates to. From AutoCAD, we have the up direction as the y, positive Y direction uh, in the world coordinate system, and the X direction as the span direction for my bridge. So I can basically specify those and transform the coordinate system uh, by clicking the transform coordinates refresh your view just to make sure that that's correct and yeah it looks like it's got a nice preview so that's good so let's move on uh, now restraint configuration I can detect pretty much all the supports and the detect supports pretty much just looks for the lowest points in my model so it'll get these pretty much four points at the bottom of the legs for my bridge and I can assign pin or roller supports to those, but for now I'm just going to assign pins. Uh, now I can now just go ahead and assign frame sections to my AutoCAD layers. So the imported AutoCAD layers in my SAP model will basically have these specified uh, frame sections, and it has drop down menus that you can actually select what those um, basically layers are. And it's the full Wix tubing, tubing database you can select which one you want. Uh, I have an old section that I'm just going to copy over into these because it reinitializes every time you import uh, layer names. So it's nice to have these but nearby that you can just kind of copy over and replace um, into these. And then you can just create your SAP model and I'll pretty much just automatically do a lot of that headache inducing stuff for you. So check it out. Here's my model. Woo, it's there! And it has my restraints applied at the supports. 
uh, I can use extrude view just to verify that yes it did assign the frame sections the way that I wanted to the model uh, and uh, assigned also groups that I can select all, pretty much all my AutoCAD later as groups in SAP. Whew. But that's not all. Check it out. So you can also just find certain points of interest in your model. These could be maybe locations where you'd like to measure load or maybe uh, deflections or apply loads or um, you can add those or delete those at will. Um, assign them to the A side of the B bridge or measure them from the right or left side of the bridge. Uh, determine or specify what the span coordinate is uh, relative to the right or left side of the bridge. Um, you can specify you know, the layer, AutoCAD layer corresponding to what your decking uh, support surface is. And then I can just say create points in the model. Bruh! Takes like less than a second and look now I have like these little tags that show up and if I look at the point it's basically this particular point corresponds to a labeled point that says case 5 uh, and 6 D1A and that's pretty much just this Boo! so it automatically did it for me didn't even have to like draw anything uh, <laughs> just because I'm lazy so <laughs> that's great now what do I need to do well the last thing is assigning loads. And this is probably the most headache-inducing thing that you could possibly think of when you're trying to define your model in SAP. So this is uh, this is by no means uh, a trivial thing to do, uh, but it can be done. So check it out. I have pretty much all my load cases uh, defined here, and I'm going to be defining them, you know, pretty much as patterns. I can apply loads to both sides of the bridge. I can do it from measured from the left or right side of the bridge uh, for distributed loads. I can have a starting and ending point um, relative to the span coordinate of the bridge, a magnitude associated with it, and a direction. Uh, likewise, with point loads, I can specify what the actual name of the pattern is, just like this. Um, uh, I can specify the direction and the magnitude of the load. And I can specify which point, which I've defined in my defined points. Here, case LD is being uh, is the point chosen to apply this load to. So you know, and you can add and delete loads at will as well. So I can assign load patterns, and bam, takes maybe mm, yeah, again, less than a second, and I can visualize those loads just like this case 4, uh, let's do case 4 step, or case 5, step 2. Woo! There it is! You can see it, and it's a very nice visual confirmation that yes, it did apply it correctly, so we got the distributed loads on both sides of the bridge like that, and it did it for pretty much all of these. Check it out. Oh yeah. And you, you know, it also did, uh, let's check out that lateral load. Yeah. So now we have the case there's preloads for the lateral, and we have the actual point lateral load applied as well at 50 pounds. And check it out, we've actually also got automatically combos defined. And the combos actually have the dead load included in the combo as well as whatever the case of that combo is. And it's named as combo of whatever that case is. So, pretty much. And also check it out! Oh my gosh! Whoa! It's already imported these. All the combos default into here. Don't do this though. Uh, <laughs> so wow! That's so cool. I've just pretty much uh, done in seconds what could have taken maybe an hour or something. So orders of magnitude of time saved. So hopefully this will save people from staying up late and killing themselves on the design because I mean honestly this is you know you don't want to be wasting your time generating models that's boring that's like it's a waste of your creative energy really uh, so re just just kind of skip it <laughs> just skip it that's all I have to say okay well hopefully this has convinced you that amazing things are possible anyways I'll see you guys next time.